What's up everyone, it's Roger here, FirmDizKingdom.com. It is Wednesday, the sun is shining, it is time to jump into some of today's Disney news. Okay, it looks like um, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 are going to be coming to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 pretty soon as a remastered versions because they have not only have they been listed on the Taiwan rating boards about a month ago, which kind of started off this whole rumor, now um, Ultimate Alliance 2 has had all of its achievements added onto the PlayStation 4, which very much speculates that we will be finding out about this game very, very soon. It could be released very, very quickly. Obviously, we don't know if it's going to be digital, if it's going to be at stores as well. Um, wouldn't surprise me if we saw an announcement maybe at um, San Diego Comic Con because we kind of have a good time to announce kind of a game. We aren't too sure yet really too much about it. Is it just going to be like a straight up port and just brought over with some flashy new um, graphics or is it going to be kind of remastered and up and giving a bit of a spruce over or is it because it's kind of a bit like the Deadpool game that came out last year from Activision. They kind of re-released it on the newer consoles. Um, I'm kind of excited about this. I never got to play the first two games. Um, I was looking at them a couple of weeks ago uh, while I was in the store to look at the PlayStation 3. But I decided that since it's going to be coming out later anyway, I might as well just wait for the PlayStation 4 version. But now it looks pretty cool. It kind of makes sense, I think, for Activision to try and make the most of some of the uh, Marvel games that I, they have made and see if they can do anything with them. They maybe don't have any new licenses for new games. But I think a bit like the Deadpool game last year, you know, they're trying to make the use of some of the content they have got. And re-releases are pretty popular now. And like I said, you know, this should be pretty cool. And it might um, tide us over that Marvel console fix until we get the new Spider-Man game. Disney announced a whole host of new merchandise that is going to be coming to Walt Disney World for the 45th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom this coming um, fall. There are loads and loads of merchandise. As you'd expect, all of these items are available at the, at the store. Some of them might also be available online and through the new um, Disney Shop app. I um, mean, got uh, different. You got uh, some new handbags. You got new T-shirts. You've got magnets. You've got pins. You've got ear hats. You've got all kinds of stuff. Pretty much they can um, put as much of those logos on stuff as possible. And um, again, some really nice looking bits and pieces. Hard to believe that the Magic Kingdom has been around for 45 years. But with Disneyland just celebrating its 61st year, it still, you know, it shows you how long these things are and how sort of it's gone over generations now with uh, these different parks. But this stuff's going to be very, very popular. I love the designs. I love the fact they've just put the, the different logos from the different attractions. And I just think it's just a really cool set of stuff that's going to be coming soon but obviously we'll find out a little bit more of this as we get closer to the release of this new merchandise and some more news for disney infinity fans it looks like we have got our first look at not only a cancelled premium format figure but this one was actually a cancelled figure full stop they even disney had decided this one wasn't maybe a good idea to release it was the lightning queen version this would have been a 12 inch figure it would have had a light up headlights it would have had light up um like maybe exhaust but disney decided that this one they weren't even going to do this one so it's kind of like a cancelled picture of a cancelled game. It's it's all very um, odd seeing all this stuff coming out of ideas that they had. I kind of, looking at this design for this Lightning McQueen, I'm really glad they had decided not to do it. Because while the uh, thing looked good, well, what were we going to do with all of these 12-inch figures? There was just too many of them were going to be coming. Um, and also how different would have been Lightning McQueen in the game because he really, you know, he didn't do a lot in the first game. So it's hard to imagine how they could sort of change up a racing car. And with the car's free playset head supposed to be heading to the game, that would have made it a little bit more interesting of trying to buy another version of Lightning McQueen because I'm sure they would have done another version of him. But unfortunately, we're not going to get any of this. So it's going to be, um, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing if we're going to start seeing any more of these kind of non cancel or this cancelled stuff, or if it's all going to start slowing up. Because obviously there was, they were working on lots of different projects. But this, um, like the McQueen, as I said, was cancelled even before the game was cancelled. So it was no chance of it coming to stores anyway. But it's still kind of interesting. But yeah, Disney Infinity um, has kind of gone to its little, you know, little resting place and it, it's it's going to be interesting to see what um comes out in the future wouldn't surprise me if um companies are racing around trying to find a new cars uh, franchise to put out again because i know if they put out another cars game it would be very very popular i don't know what would be really cool is if they actually just did um like toy box speedway or maybe the, like the sonic um cart game and just did like a 
just a Lightning McQueen version with cars. Just nice and simple, but do the driving really, really well and make it lots of fun with online gaming. And there you go, there's my pitch for a new game. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're watching on Facebook, give us a like and comment below with your thoughts. If you're on YouTube, you can do the same there. Give us a like and also hit that subscribe button for keeping up with the latest from DizKingdom.com. You can also catch us on Twitter, and if you are listening to the audio version as well, you can hit that subscribe button, and you can also get in touch with us in all the usual ways. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Remember, get your questions in, because I do try and do some of that stuff on Sunday, but depends with San Diego Comic Con. I'm expecting a very busy weekend full of news anyway guys thank you very much for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button and i shall see you guys in a later video laters